What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the next episode of Imperion. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and try and fix our vehicle. So I had to run back twice. The first time I brought a hover and a control thing with me, a little control module, because I thought that's what had been blown up. Well, I was correct, but unfortunately we didn't have a fuel tank either, so it took a little bit of doing, but we should be back up and in action in just a moment. I've reclaimed control of the vehicle, which is pretty cool, but for right now what we need to do is we need to put the fuel tank back on it. And once we get the fuel tank reseated, we should be in a lot better of a position to get the hell out of here. So now that the fuel tank is back on, come on, work for me here. Yeah, there we go. We're back up in the air. That was a really, it took me about 45 minutes to get this thing fixed. So what had been destroyed was our hover, our fuel tank, and also our core. Like, for real, we got blown to hell up. It was not pleasant. Let me see if I can jump out of this ravine right here real quick. There we go. On the plus side, our vehicle should be... Oh, it also looks like we are missing a thruster. So that's interesting. Let me take a look here. Let me kill the vehicle. Let me jump out. Did I lose my front thruster too? Oh, I lost my front thruster too, so we have no brakes. There are no brakes on this train. There's also no left thruster. So what we need to do now, I'm going to go loot this place real fast because that's the one thing that I have to get done while I'm here is if I can loot this place, we'll be in a much, much better world. This place looks like it was built by the Enclave from Fallout. Sort of reminds me of that weird sort of black chipped away color. Go ahead, if I grab everything up out of here, it might save me some resources when I go back to base. Tearing this thing down seems like a semi-interesting idea, but I don't know if I'm going to waste time with it right now. I just like all the supplementary parts. I've got a whole bunch of stuff building back at base. It's just sitting there churning out items, so we should be all right. I'm going to try and destroy this thing real quick. See what I get out of here. Alright, so did that give me anything good? Like, do I get alien technology or any other fun stuff out of that? Doesn't look like I do. I gathered up as many things as I could while I was traveling, too, because I wanted, like, the plant proteins and the sugar cane and kind of the coffee beans and all that kind of stuff. Let me see if I can get this one wiped out now, too. I may be able to... No, there's no crafter over here. Unfortunately, I was going to say I could rip out a couple, like, blocks in here. And maybe do something with it, but unfortunately I don't think that's going to work either. So what we have to do with our ship now is we have to sort of like aim it in the direction of our base. And just hope that we don't have to turn too much. Luckily I have two boosters, so it's not that bad. It looks like they actually made it a lot easier to tear down walls too. So now it may actually be worth it to like salvage all this out and just kind of see what you get back. Yeah, they nerfed it. It used to be like a bunch of shots. Now it's only two or three. Well, that's good. I'm glad they're paying attention to player feedback because honestly, it was too difficult to savage or to salvage before. It took forever, but that seems to be working pretty well. Cool. I'm not going to capture this place. Now, because we have more than one booster, we still have like some options. It's not that bad. It could be a lot worse. Wow, we got whooped on. It's really hard to believe how bad we got dominated like while we were out there fighting with that thing, but we appear to be in a little bit better of a situation so if I point this thing are we sort of like in the direction of our base right now okay we're in the direction of our base so at the minimum as long as I fly straight we should be okay and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna fly as straight as I can and if we can get back to base, I can repair this thing more efficiently. Now, in the next coming episodes, I wanted to make ourselves a spacecraft. And that's going to be a little bit more complicated than building ourselves a ground vehicle. Albeit, not really that much so. It really sort of just uses the same components. They're just a tad more expensive once you get those done. I'd like to get off the planet. That's the big thing that I'd like to do. If we could get off the planet, it would make me really happy. Because we still have one booster left, I should be able... Well, my right booster looks like it's not really working either. Yeah, in order to have our directionals work, I'm going to have to tear this thing apart and just fix it all over again. A little bit disappointing right there, but it can't be helped at this point. Eh. As much as I would love to get it fixed, at least it's flying. That's the only part that I care about right now. Getting in between my base and everything else was taking forever on foot, so I'm just glad that it's up and running again. Let's go ahead and sit it down. We'll do a little bit of mechanic work. I'm going to try and make it look a little prettier, too. I'm going to try and some slap some parts onto it, maybe, and make it look sexier so that it looks like a hovercraft rather than just this thing that we're coasting around on. And I'm just going to have to turn the engine off and hope that we slide it in. There we go. <laughs> That's the worst thing that I've ever seen. We just have to slide this thing back into base. It's the only way that we know how to break is just to like turn everything off and just be like, hope for the best, cross your fingers. 
let the hull soften the blow. Hopefully that didn't hurt my hover too badly in the back. I'll get it up off the ground, actually. Let me take a look at it real fast. Jump out and make sure that this is properly... No, I want you to stay up in the air. Uh... Looks like there's like a one pixel sweet spot right there where I can repair the hover. And so yeah, the hover does look like it's damaged. Come on. I didn't think about that before I cruised in. Alright, so the hover's looking a little bit better. I'm just going to leave this. It looks like, why is it falling down when I get out? It should stay levitating. There we go. Oh, it's leaving. It's leaving right now. It no longer wants to be with us. I don't want to be your hover anymore. You let me get damaged all the time. I'm like, baby, you started out damaged. Oh, I crushed myself with my own vehicle. I was wondering what might happen if I did that. All right, so let's get inside. We got a lot of repairs to do. We got a lot of things we got to fix before this is all going to be better. We'll fix that up in this episode. We'll get it all taken care of. I'm going to try and make it look a little bit cleaner and sexier now that the remove and repair tool is a tad more efficient. Should be a fun way to spend an episode because we haven't been doing much building lately. In addition, I'm probably going to add and work on the extra layer over here because I started off crafting those parts before I started the episode up. So I've already got the cockpit made for our spacecraft. I'm going to make a green craft, and that's we're going to do the best that we can with it. Let me put some of this stuff inside of here though because we have far too many random things clogging up my inventory that should save me some crafting time which is actually pretty fun because that means it'll give us more time to do other fun things so I got stairs right there I got those right there I made a couple of blocks so that I could fiddle with this thing what I would also like to have if you could make me a couple of well, let's make a few more hull blocks because I think I need those first and foremost. Let's make a couple of half rounds because I'm going to need to play around with those. A couple of quarter rounds, a couple of corners, and then that should be all that we need to get started right here. I think we should be able to make the craft look reasonably decent if I could pull together some of these block parts. But for right now, while we wait for that, I wanted to get my stairs going up to the next level because we can't actually utilize our next level until I do that. So with the five key, we'll slap those on. Hey, there we go. Slap those on in. Ooh, that looks cute right there. I like it. I love it. Okay, so that'll work out for me. Once we get some more blocks crafted, I'm going to have to decide where I want this all to go from here. I need to destroy these first. That jump right there, he jumps like he's on like the track team. He's like, Wah! I also need to craft myself some more oxygen now that I have essentially infinite energy. That's the other part that we need to get on. But I'm going to destroy these real fast because this is not what I intended. All right, we'll get some of the parts back. I think you get two-thirds or three-fourths of the supplies back when you destroy something. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure you get something useful back. The number one thing that I wanted to do with all this is actually I'm going to build this up a little ways in here. So we're going to need a lot more hull blocks to make that work. So let's focus on fixing the vehicle first, and then after that we'll work on the rest of it. So let's get some parts in play on the vehicle first and foremost. I may have to craft a few more pieces just to get it up and off the ground. But for right now, oh yeah, I crafted another big fuel tank over here too because it makes my life easier. And if you take a look, I would highly recommend that you do this because we've got like an hour, two hours worth of power left. So that's pretty cool. It still draws from this tank first. But given the amount of lovely, lovely Promethium we have available, I don't think we're going to have to worry about it for a little bit. All right, vehicle. Let's get you squared away, shall we? Let's get you up in the air. Why does it do that sometimes? It's very weird that sometimes it stays up in the air and sometimes it doth not. So with the blocks that I have, let's go ahead and slam these into play real quick before this thing runs away on us. Looks like we do have some serious repairs that we have to make. However, I don't think it's going to be that bad. Go ahead and put you right there. So the sled is completed now again. I'll probably move around some of the random parts in here. Just to make it look a little bit cleaner in the future. But for right now, what I'd like to have... Let me jump up on here. I'm actually going to surf on this thing for a little bit. I kind of want it to look... So if I put that right there, we are increasing the mass right now, which is going to slow this thing down pretty... Actually, that's not what I want. Let me go ahead and get that back real quick. It's interesting that we don't slide along with it. I don't know, there's one thing that I'm noticing is you don't actually attach to the object if it's in momentum or if it has inertia. Go ahead and repair some of these bottom pieces right here. There we go. And are you all good? That's all good. Fantastic. That's all that I can really hope for at this point. 
And then I just don't want it to drift away. We gotta build ourselves a couple more thrusters. I'll worry about that in just a minute. I need two thrusters. It'll be alright. I don't think the vehicle's going anywhere unless it hits like a downhill slope. I think it only gets like a slight forward momentum, so it shouldn't be that bad. So what I need now are all the blocks that have hopefully finished crafting in here. Got the quarter round. Don't really want the interior block. It looks like I actually have a lot of the stuff inside of here, so that's a little bit disappointing. I may put a lamp on the front of my vehicle as well, just to help out with the illumination situation. I would also like, yeah, give me all of those right there. And then I need you to get down on a couple more thrusters. That battle was not in our favor unfortunately got a little bit roughed up while I was out there I need a normal thruster just like a normal thruster a directional blue thruster and if I can craft two of those that would be absolutely out of this world I think it's probably gonna take more components than I have but we might be okay so we've got metal components cables we should have all of those things right there the pipes the only thing that I would worry about is the electronics, so yeah, we're not going to have enough electronics. I am always just out of everything in this game, and I feel like I spend so much time crafting each of these. Like, I really sincerely do. I spend, like, I feel like I spend a ton of time just building all the random component parts, but in reality, I'm always out of everything. Alright, so we got one thruster done right there. Let's go ahead and harvest all these plants so that I'm not wasting time. In order to get water, we've got to go ahead and build ourselves a water generator, which I haven't done either. Luckily, I have a pretty good supply of wheat going, and I'm just letting the pumpkins sit over here. I'm trying not to worry about them, although they do go bad. So it might be a good plan to turn those into sproutlings or something. Can I do that here? In order to make a pumpkin sprout, I need water and nutrient solution. Ah, okay, I need rock dust to make that happen. Well, then I'll probably just make some baked pumpkin and just eat it right now. That'll be okay. All right, good. So that's right there. We should be done with our thruster. Yep, thruster's done. We'll let the electronics craft themselves for right now. Highly recommend making more fuel tanks for realsies. It will make your life easier. Or our vehicle run off to it. Looks like it grounded out over here. I'm also almost dead, so we're going to need some oxygen. Why are you not hovering anymore? I wish there was like an attachment paddock thing. Oh, balls. I forgot that I can't do this. I forgot that I don't have full directional movement. I can go sideways pretty fast, though, if I wanted to. I can cancel, like so, by facing... Going that way. Oh, no, never mind. It's like continual thrust. It's like shifting my inertia somehow. Okay, well, turn it off real fast. That'll slow us down quick. Get her back up in the air. And while we are here, I'm going to need to repair you. Repair you. And let's have a look at the way that we can get this done. Make this look a little bit purtier. Shall we? I'm going to jump up on this side. And the first thing that I need, I don't think that's what I want right there. I think a half round will probably do this the way that I want it to. Although it doesn't line up now, does it? Hmm. What if I rotate you? That seems alright. Go right there. We'll round it out like so. But because it's not a square, that's not going to look good either. Huh. It's got to be the orientation that I'm screwing up here. Never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. This is going to be one of those things that I'm going to have to fiddle with for a while because I'm just not good at building stuff. And my orient ki my orientation keys are still like hosed. Like, for real. My orientation keys are just wrecked right now, and I need to fix them, and I'll do it a little bit later. Now that we got the raft up and running, though, it should open up some opportunities for us to go out and get some cobalt because the next thing we need to build is going to be our vehicle starter. So let me get up inside of here. We're going to make ourselves an aircraft. I'm going to try and be careful about it. Like, build a foundation on it first, then put it in, and just kind of, like, see what we can get done here. If we wanted to build an aircraft starter, small vessel starter requires eight hull blocks. We have that. And then we also need a core, which I can craft. Not that big of a deal. Core should be in here somewhere. And we needed five computers, which I guess I went through all my computers again. 
Ugh, the crafting requirements in this game, I swear. Just make a ton of computers and just like make that happen because I never have the things I want to have. And then while I wait for those to pop back out, we'll sit these in here. Once that's done, we will queue up our core. So put that in right there. Kill that off real quick so that only the core gets crafted. And there was something I wanted to do right now. Oh, I wanted to fill up my oxygen. That's what it was. We are super, super blinky blinky right now. And so fixing that is probably going to be one of the first things we want to do. I also need to go down and get my oxygen. I find like we spend a lot of time just refueling stuff in this game. It's like the biggest thing I spend my time doing. All right, so a little bit of food right there. Grab a couple of these guys to make my life easier. Who has to eat like three full salamis to be like good to go? Like who has a stomach that's just like an endless pit like that? It's just so much. It's just so much. So now that I got the whole blocks, we got the half rounds. Still trying to decide exactly how I want to do all this with the vehicles, but we'll sort it out in a minute. Jump down this way. Don't really care if I get wounded because we are at half health, which is perfectly fine. I needed to go get some cobalt and some neodymium too. So let's go ahead and throw these all inside of here. Get you powered on up so that you're producing oxygen once again because I haven't produced oxygen in a really, really long time. Six hours worth of oxygen. That should give us every two minutes we're producing a bottle. So like 30 per hour. That'll be pretty good. That allows us to have more oxygen than we could ever need or require. I'll probably build a few more oxygen tanks too to make that smoother up inside of here. With my vehicle. So I gotta decide what I want it to look like. That's the other part that's kind of difficult to rectify is like, what is this gonna look like? And the answer to that question is not actually so easily answered. Haven't decided what I want to do with it just yet. I will take the core. All right, so now that we got that, we will start off with our vehicle starter so that we can get up into space. Now the space vehicle is gonna need to be armed. Oh, I can't put that on my other vehicle. Okay, that's not gonna work. I should have noticed the little color coding thing that it had going on, but I wasn't paying attention. We can use that one right there, though. That'll work out all right. Put, like, two of those on the front end of our vehicle so that we can see properly. And then I'll try to grab the rest of this out of here. Got the omnidirectional, so that should be good. Let's go work on the vehicle for a little bit. We'll try and make it look prettier. It's probably going to be, like, an embarrassing thing to work on because I am not good at building stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm tired of having a hover raft. It just kind of looks poopy. So I'd rather fix it on up here. I should probably also get a work light or something, but I'm sure this will all work out okay. So the first thing that needs to go are these little side bits right here, unless I'm really, really dead set on it looking the way that it does right now. We could do sort of like a skiff thing with it. Or if I take these half rounds over here. And I sort of just orient them like so. It'll round out the body a tiny bit, but it'll look a little bit funny. So instead, what I could think about doing is going to be right here. Where in its entirety, we sort of just round it out on the front. And then I think this little guy right here is how you turn the corner. Although I'm not positive about that. Haven't played around with it much. Yeah, that's how you turn the corner right there. And so in turning the corner, by the way, I want that back. In turning the corner on either side... I think that's lined up properly, but it's hard to see. That'll look a tiny bit more sleek, which is what we want to go for. With our boosters on the sides, what I prefer to do right here is, well, in order to smooth this out, this is going to look kind of funny. I also need a flashlight to look at it real quick. I'm going to grab my work light. I think I'm going to need my work light in order to do that properly. So now that we've turned the corner, I like how the front end looks. So I'm happy with the front end already. So that's always a good sign. I don't feel like it totally sucks. Not sure what I want to do with the sides of the fuel tanks or anything like that. But I think that is going to be important as well. I also need to make space for the lamps to go on. So we'll find a spot for those in just a minute. It might work if I could just place them on the bottom. Work lamp, where are you at? 
Work lamp, where are you? There you are. Need my portable work lamp because I can't see for ass right now. I'm also going to take... Uh, everything actually looks okay in here. I don't think we have to worry about it. Got another truss block, and I would like to modify my base a little bit to make that look better, but the time will come. The time will come. Let me go ahead and get some light on this thing. Do I still have my flashlight too? I'm going to need my flashlight. Not going to need a rocket launcher to work on my craft at all. Jump down and in here. I don't know. Some people like watching building. I'm one of those people. Like, I really, really, really enjoy watching, like, Kiralis, for example. I like watching him build stuff just because, I don't know, it's relaxing watching somebody build something and work on it for a while. It's really, really interesting to me. I don't really want that to be exposed. So, like, part of me wants to remove that right there so that we can actually hide it somewhere else, like back and underneath and leave like a little slot here so that we can reach in and refuel. However, it may not be an immediate option, but it's just something that I would prefer. Where's my little lamp at? That is facing, not the direction that it was facing. Sigh. Sometimes the lamp does not like to be on the ground. There we go. So that'll help out a little bit on this side. So the other thing that I would consider is we could flip some blocks and we could keep the whole rounded thing going on the entire time we fiddle with it. It does look a little bit, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me go ahead and I'm going to remove those right there because we got to fully round out the front edges. And now that those have been rounded out, it looks kind of cool. I like the way that it bleeds right into the cockpit. Like, looking at it from the front, the front profile looks really cool, so I think it's going to work out. Repair both those real quick. And on this side, provided I can see... Oh, that's interesting. I thought that was going to work a little bit differently. Okay, so technically I could round it out, but because actually, doesn't matter. I can fix that. I can totally fix that. Doesn't matter at all. And if I can get this one seated properly without having to move the light around, that would also be Excelsior. Let me take a look at it, make sure that it's looking... Ah, that's oriented wrong. I had a feeling I couldn't see what I was looking at. And unfortunately... The lack of light, I really wish that they would just, once you craft the flashlight, I sincerely wish that the flashlight would just be on your HUD so that you could just use it from your suit because you're wearing like a futuristic spaceman suit, right? Actually, what I could do is I could leave those empty right there and put lamps on it. Ooh, that doesn't sound like too bad of an idea. Let me see how that works. Because if I leave... Let me say that I wipe these out real quick. Let's kind of take this apart piece by piece and bit by bit. It looks like our blocks, our player built blocks, actually take a little bit longer. It's probably because this tool works by deduction of HP or something like that. Let's assume for a minute that I'm interested in making the whole thing look sleeker than it does right now then what I would need to do in order to accomplish that, and let me repair all these random blocks over here that are a tad messed up. I always feel like the contrast is a tad messed up with the lights, too. I wish there was also a key you could just press to, like, drag this backwards a tiny bit so that every single time you wanted to move your work light, because sometimes it's way too intense on the spot that you're trying to target, and you need to be back a little ways. There. That's a little bit better. I think that'll work nicer. I'm going to have to get rid of the fuel tank in just a minute, but what I was thinking... If you haven't caught on to what I was implying right here, is what I wanted to do is we'll take this. And let's say that I rotate that real quick. We take that down the side, which means that this has to go out right here. Possibly. Yeah, it's going to look alright. I think it'll work. We have to leave one slot of our fuel tank uncovered. Otherwise, we won't be able to get at it and add fuel to it. But what I was thinking is if I flip this right here, like so, if the game is kind, what I might be able to do is I might be able to slot a light on the side of that right there so that we can see what's in front of us. And so let me see if that'll work. I've only got the one light right here, so actually, 
Is that the wrong light? Oh, I didn't bring the light down. All right, well, I'll work on the directionals right now. We need to put our thrusters back on here. Otherwise, turning is going to be pretty poopy. The other thing I have to decide is if I want these to still be exposed right here. I think the answer to that question... Well... I think I may draw it back slightly for right now. Because I also gotta take I gotta take the fuel tank off. Or I'm sorry, I gotta take the generator off. And I gotta shift the generator down so that it is symmetrical with the fuel tank on this side. I still think it's a little bit exposed, and I don't like that very much. But I think we have the opportunity to make this look really, really cool. So I'm just about out of time today. I'm gonna continue fiddling with this right here. I appreciate you guys all taking the time to stop by. I realize this is probably not the most stimulating of episodes, but I know I haven't been building a whole lot lately, and a lot of people like building, and so I'm going to try and make it a little bit more buildy over the next week or two. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to balloon out on the sides right there, which I don't hate, but I don't love either. Maybe I could put the lights on the side of that, put it a little bit wide. I don't know. We also got to figure out a place to put the machine guns. So that we can like spar with people when we want to. But anyways, I will see you all later. Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Empyreon. Hi do everybody.